bottom of the prop is just every now and again it touches the water. Well said, Captain Wise. Thank you. First mate, Isabel Me. So we're gonna attempt something that we don't usually do. Another day, another paradise. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, today we uh, we have a little mission. It's the late afternoon, no, probably mid afternoon right now. It is quarter past two, and we are going to make our way from Bocas del Toro, the main town here, and we're going to be sailing through the inland waterways to a beautiful, beautiful anchorage which our friends left this morning. But we've been flat out trying to get our movie edited and uploaded. So we have just now completed that, which is fantastic. Isabel is an absolute gem. So right now we're going to pick up anchor. Um, I'm going to do something which I haven't done before. I'm going to try sailing while the tender is still hoisted on the side of the boat. at the headsail and like I said before we are sailing with our tender on our starboard side hoisted and right now I'm just a bit concerned that the rope that the tender is hoisted on is going to impede the headsail so we're just going to check that as we pull out the sail. More first initial look, it looks good. what we're doing. So what do you think of our tender? Isabel wasn't too confident at first. Where are you is? It's not about confidence or not. It's just I don't think it's good. It weighs quite a bit with our new engine. I would rather have him well on the bow preferably but on the back with the like, two painters on him or something. Of course if we were going for a big sail we'd hoist him and and make sure he's on the bow. But because we're in inland waterways today, it's like two or three hour sail. Um, we're just gonna, just gonna have we're him there. Go. Yeah, we're having a go. We're learning as we go. Okay, so we are about half an hour into this little sail. Uh, we are heading to the island of Zapatia. It's meant to be one of the more beautiful spots with a few outer reefs, some clear water. Uh, there is a bit of current around and there'll be a few waves. So we're going to suss those out when we arrive, make sure it's okay to stay the night. But there are plenty of backup options if Zapatilla falls through. So far so good with the tender hoisted on the side of the boat, very happy with that. Young Isabel here is reading a book. How's your, how's your book going, Is? It's good. Yeah? Any comments, any words for the camera? Yeah, I go. I said I'm enjoying the sail. There are no waves. I am really liking that. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom of the prop is just, every now and again it touches the water, but other than that, it is pretty much staying dry. Three fenders here, so it's protected from the boat. 
it's not going to rub any holes into it. And we've got a, a bow line and a stern line which goes from the stern. So all in all, pretty happy, feels pretty secure. Um, I might do this again in the future, as long as there's no waves about and we're like kind of inland waterways. So how are you going, Kian Captain Wise? Very good. Yeah? Yeah. We are we've taken a little corner and we are going five and a half knots, mm. which is quite nice. Mm. We're traveling about 120 degrees to the wind. Uh, very happy. Very happy. Oh, can't. Like this doesn't really feel like sailing because we're just moving along like that. <laughs> Now we're in a bit of a lane, but I'm, I'm blaming Ralph for that one. Um, but I, it's just, just really nice, really, really nice. I'd imagine, and I said this before, that this is kind of what a catamaran must feel like when you're out in the ocean. Like, but they wobble a bit too. They wobble a little bit, yeah. but being inland waterways, it's our first inland waterways, it's just so relaxing. So nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm just calling at the dolphins, they're not really coming. They will be here. There's a dolphin sanctuary, a little bay, is it somewhat close to here? Yeah, we just passed it, but we didn't go too close, it's way over there. Yeah, okay. Well, people say that there's a lot of dolphins in there, so we are going to catch up with our friends, but maybe on the way back? Maybe on the way back, we'll swing past there. Mm. We've only got a few hours of sunlight left, so we really want to get to our destination. Uh, we're going to be traversing through some rather tight waterways and the water in here is a little bit murky so for safety we want to have a bit of sunlight out so we can see anything that we might hit in the water. Well said Captain Wise. Thank you. First mate Isabel Me. cannot get over this day. It is just fantastic. We're just dodging a few shallow spots right now. I'll show you on the map. There's shallow water around here. There's a little island here. Um, we're going to go through here and it gets really, really tight in here. And again, through here. And eventually we come out into some open water before sticking down an anchor over here at these beautiful Zapatillo Island. Well, as Kieran is sailing us through this uh, waterway so beautifully, I am downstairs cooking us some uh, dinner. Doesn't look amazing right now, but you got your toppings here. Don't have that much veggies going on, but we got uh, kidney bean burgers. Our favorite patty for burgers is mushroom and lentils with all the French herb um, mix in there. That's our favorite, but right now we don't have any mushrooms. So now I'm doing these kidney bean burgers. Put some um, curry in there. Yeah, just to mix it up really. <laughs> um, and we don't have access to that much food and we're on a strict budget. Um, you get pretty tired of your food and you, you know how it is back home as well. You're just making the same, same um, food over and over again. But um, so yeah, just trying to mix it up a little bit. Um, we're both pretty hungry this afternoon, so burgers seem like a good thing. Oh, baby! Burgers! Oh, baby! That's a little bit burned. Look at that one. <laughs> wow, they look delicious. <laughs> She's killing it.
So we're right at the back end of this sail and we've come out into open water, well somewhat open water, and the waves have actually kicked in a little bit and we are sailing at about 60 to 30 into it. So unfortunately Ralph is taking a small beating but we've fended him up quite nice. He looks somewhat, he looks fairly safe. He's not taking anything he can't handle. But uh, will I be doing this in the future? Not likely. It's not that I'm thinking about, I'm just thinking about the halyard. The halyard? Yeah. Halyard's fine. Halyard, I mean, I, we pick the tender up and I jump into the tender. It still doesn't smile. Jump into it? I jump into it. I have like a little playground, you know. It's like it's like a trampoline. Okay, so we've now just about completed our little inland waterway sail, which is quite nice. And this anchorage is quite open. Um, so we're going to attempt something that we don't usually do. We're going to try a sail on to anchor. We've got a little bit of main out, and I feel like my theory is, is if we sail down and then into the wind, drop the anchor, and as the anchor's dropping, I'll be uh, winding up the mainsail, and Isabel will be dropping out the chain. Okay. So I think we can do this without having to start the engine or do any of that stuff. How do we set it then? Um, I'll go for a swim. Yeah? I'll go for a swim and set it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do this without turning on the engine. Okay. We've never done it before, and no. I feel like this is a perfect opportunity. Isabel's just on the bow now. We're going to point into the wind. We're going to really lose all our speed. I'm going, to, I'm going to give Isabel the signal. She'll drop the anchor. And while she's doing that, I will be packing away the mainsail as quick as I can. We're only doing uh, three knots, so. Should be pretty easy, I'd say. Touch wood. Okay, And folks, it's that easy. How'd you go, babe? Alright. Yeah? Hope we're in there, bud. Well done, well done. What are we doing, babe? Oh. Why are we... Why do we put down an anchor and rush off the boat? Because we want to have some drinks with our friends on the beach. The, the sun, sunset. sun's just going down. We want to get in there, don't we? Yes. It's one of the hard things about our lifestyle. We meet some great people, yeah. some really great people, like-minded people, uh, people that want to live a little bit different to everybody else. Mm. But the problem is we're always moving around. Yeah. Um, we're always kind of, we're just saying goodbye to some friends today. Yeah. Um, really good friends. Lucas and Maria mm. from Spain and uh, Colombia, yeah. really good people. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're going to Colombia and yeah. we're not going to see them again. Yeah. They have their own path to follow, so yeah. It's hard. It's, yeah, it's sad. I don't do goodbyes. It's really... I hate it. But, yeah. It was very nice to get to know them and to spend some time with them. For sure. For sure. Should we check out the island? Let's go check out the island. So that's them right there. Bye! 
They're gonna go now. They're gonna leave us. And this is the beautiful island. Just look at that. Zapatija Cays is two uninhabited islands located southeast in the Bocas del Toro archipelago. Both islands are part of the Isla Bastimentos National Marine Park. These islands are one of the more remote places around Bocas, but having such a picture perfect reputation, tourists still find ways to experience this paradise being one of the top spots to visit around the area. We were surprisingly taken back by the beauty that this place has to offer. Isabella and myself never knew Panama could be so breathtaking. Oh, risking life and camera, more importantly camera. Whoa! <laughs> to pull this one off for you today. Oh, this place is incredible. Say bye, Lucas. Bye, Lucas and Maria. Bye, Lucas and Maria. It's not the refrigerator. Just in case you want to keep. Away. Just in case you want to keep your beers cold. So what was that? We're extremely warm in this case. Traveling from the deep forest into the sun. Path, only five meters from the water's edge, and it's just, oh, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, it's crazy. There's no houses or restaurants or hotels. Mm. It's amazing. Baby, yes. we're waiting on you now. I know, I'm almost done. Once a week, every week, Isabel is like this for 24 hours. No, not 24 hours. No, no. 12 hours just editing, uploading. Because she is the greatest. 